not only does he just like look really bad, he has this huge, huge hole in the middle of his body, sort of like from the top of his back, like you could see like the floor. Oh, hi there. Welcome back. I'm happy that you guys are joining for another video. Um, I went through something really interesting last night um, that I wanted to share. I originally had a different video in mind, but this happened and I'm like, oh, I need to share this. So basically what happened um, last night was that our cat got a visit from the vet because he's not really well. He's about 10 years old in uh, human years and there's nothing really wrong with him we discovered but he was just limping up the stairs and he just he, he couldn't jump as easily like onto a bed or something so we just got a vet what happened basically is after the, he, the vet sort of gave him like a shot to relax him and he couldn't move very much after that because he was sort of like out of it so what happened is after the vet left um the cat was suddenly in like a puddle of blood i'm sorry if that's like you know too much information for people but he basically urinated like urine and blood and my sister was like uh what's that so i called the vet and the vet is like uh you know yeah that's that's okay that sometimes that happens to cats if it keeps happening like until morning then call me but he didn't seem extremely concerned about it my aunt went to sleep with the cat in the room and she wakes up at like 3 a.m. after the cat is like complaining and sort of like, she wakes up and he's panting and it's sitting in like a pool of like blood again in the bed. And so she wakes me up and I'm thinking like, oh, what are we going to do? Is this an emergency? And so I call an emergency vet and I'm trying to figure out if this is normal after what he just went through or if I need to take the cat in the middle of the night to some other city and get help and I realized what happened was that I really wanted advice and I was the only one there to actually make the decision I couldn't wake up my mom or my dad or my sister who was in Jerusalem who was actually like more her cat I was conflicted in the sense that I'm realizing that I'll, I feel sort of a weight with the situation with my dad who is sick and a lot of decisions that are in my life or just the responsibility of like taking care of my family and trying to make sure that my my dad is okay and my mom is okay and my siblings and just sort of taking too much on my shoulders and I decided eventually with the cat not to take him anywhere but what happened was I tried to go back to sleep and as I'm laying in my bed, what I found myself doing was I found myself complaining before God and being like, God, you see my dad, you see my cat, you see like, you see hardship all the time. I'm crying out for mercy for my dad, like have mercy, have mercy on my dad. And sometimes I felt like I had more mercy for my dad than God did which is impossible, but okay. And everything just hit me at once. All of the dread and the questions and the feeling like I'm trying to hold on to faith and trying to like uplift my family. And yet sometimes I can't even uplift myself. And I was very discouraged. And after I stopped complaining, I said to God, God, I mean, I can complain all I want, but really, I just want you. And I just want encouragement. And so I fell asleep and I dreamt a dream that really changed my perspective. In this dream, I'm waking up and our cat is like, I think you call it emaciated. Like he's like flesh and bones. Like there's nothing on him. And in reality, he's not. He's like a big cat. And he looks really, really, really bad. And not only does he just like look really bad, he has this huge, huge hole in the middle of his body, sort of like from the top of his back, like you could see like the floor. And he didn't look like anything that resembled like a cat. He really didn't. And I'm freaking out. My aunt is next to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to call the vet now. Like he's like, if we don't do something, it's not going to be good. And so I'm going to call the vet and I realize 
that the vet isn't going to be able to do anything. That my cat is going to die and there's nothing the vet or anyone else can do about it. And in the dream, something arises within me, like my spirit arises and I start crying out to God and I'm like, God, have mercy have mercy on my cat have mercy have mercy and i'm crying out like crying out to him and as i'm crying out i'm looking at my cat and i see his form change right in front of my eyes he it's like he was like growing and all of his like flesh was coming back and his weight was coming back and the hole that huge huge hole in the middle of his body was like closing and he was becoming like a normal cat to the point where he was like completely normal and it was a miracle. And I woke up with this feeling of like, like God was telling me like, Oriel, I have mercy. I have enough mercy to see the most impossible situation and reverse death itself. Because that's what happened with Yeshua. He was in the grave for three days. That's what happened with Lazarus. He healed blind people. He healed lepers. He he healed the deaf, he healed, he healed so many people. And something in me after that was like, my spirit was alive and I had faith in me to believe that God could do a creative miracle for my dad. And it was a really life-changing experience, that dream. And I'm realizing that the cat is really a symbol of my dad so i wake up in the morning and by the way the cat is fine <laughs> he's just a bit out of it but he's fine i get in my car to go to work i go around the corner and boom right in front of me this huge rainbow i'm looking at it and i'm thinking okay god you promised you promised that you would heal you promised that you would do good you have promises for us and here's the thing guys I don't know the different ways in which God fulfills his promises and it might not look like the way I want it to be. But if God isn't asking of me to pray differently, I'm going to pray exactly that. I'm going to pray that God would heal my dad. And so I'm saying this to encourage myself. I'm saying this to encourage anyone out there watching this video that's sort of thinking, I need a miracle. I need God to fulfill his promises. I need a miracle. I need him to do the impossible and that we would stand in faith together for the impossible and that we would know that God loves us and does good things unto us even if it doesn't appear in the way that we want it to or in the timing that we want it to. So I hope this encourages someone. I'm on this journey, which is really, really hard. And I'm sure a lot of you have gone through something similar or are going through something similar. So please share your experience. Share what you feel about the difficult situation that you are in or faith or the miracles that God has done for you in your life. All of these comments are extremely encouraging. And I really want this channel that's growing, you know, at a slow and nice pace to be a place of encouragement for everyone. If you know someone that needs to hear this story, that someone that they know is in a difficult situation or they themselves are in a difficult situation, share this with them. I want everyone to know, everyone to know that God can do amazing, amazing things. So I'm really looking forward to see how God chooses to fulfill his promise in my dad's life in my life and in your life. So like, subscribe, share this video. I love the fact that you're here and I love all of you so, so much. Good night.